in this video we're going to be looking at how to get uh, the start button back uh, on the desktop uh, because if we I mean right now my desktop is not responding so uh, anyway as I was saying we all know that uh, in the previous Windows version we have the start button around on the bottom left corner here but now we don't have it anymore so in order to do that there are some uh, solutions that you can look for on the internet which is to download some tools that will help you get the start button back and the first one we're gonna look at is called the V start uh, it's called the V start 8 uh, this is actually free you can download it for, for free and uh, but um, this is not the one that we're going to download another one that you can look at is called the classic shell uh, the classic shell which is also free to download uh, so you can look at these two uh, the 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 actually they will bring back as you can see on the image here it's going to bring back the um, the start menu that you used to and you can also customize it you can uh, choose different themes and uh, you can read through when you go to that, uh, to the website but the one that we're going to download here is called the uh, it's called the start 8 um, it's called the start 8 the previous one is called the V start 8 so this one is called the start 8 so as you can see that uh, um, it this one is not free because uh, it has a lot of features but fortunately you can try it um, you have all these uh, small and um, other uh, features that you can do which we're going to look at in some of the other videos and then you can get uh, one for 49 dollars but i think it's too expensive for this price so let's get a free trial it's asking for an email address let's just give them something uh, let's give them my the email address i've been uh, using throughout this video doesn't really bother me and uh, let's click on download an email with a download link has been sent to okay uh, they got me there never mind let's go back to the windows and let's go back to let's look for the mail so let's uh, let's look for mail and uh, let's see if we actually got a link in our email I reinstalled the window 8 from the start so uh, if things are slow is because this is the first time I'm actually using this uh, right let's see okay this is the email that we just got now and uh, let's click on download it's taking us to the browser again it's taking longer now so it's asking if we want to run it let's run it uh, okay uh, do you want to allow yes okay we agree to the terms and the next next uh, it's gonna take some uh, started installation is complete please click finish to exit the installer finish then uh, there is an um, a welcome to start eight screen here uh, try for 30 days you can purchase the uh, license so let's just try it is starting the trial for 30 days I mean, once you watch all the video series that uh, where I use the Start 8 uh, features, if you do like it, then you can buy it. And so, as you can see, now we have the Start button here, which is what we're trying to achieve. So, we have the Start button like uh, we used to, and I think this is actually cool. Um, these are some of the apps that have been launching. So, some of the, let's go to the start screen if we go to the start screen I feel, oh lord it's actually changed my stats every time I press my window key it's actually launching the start button now so I'm sure that that can be configured uh, we have to change a lot of settings and uh, we're going to do that in the next video we're going to look at some of the start 8 um, f uh, features and settings thank you